To the forecast, I want to give you an update from NOAA. They actually issued their midseason outlook yesterday and not much changed. The only thing that changed is that they went from an 85% uh, confidence in above average season to a 90% uh, chance of an above average season. So they didn't really change the amount of name storms. 17 to 25 still looks to be a good bet for us. And we're only at number four. So we are really just getting into uh, the start of the peak of the hurricane season, as, especially as we get into the month of September. One of the reasons why NOAA is saying we're going to have an above average season is that we just have very warm Atlantic Ocean temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico right now. Take a look at some of these buoy temps right now. They're reading near 90 degrees. Actually, this one is up to 90. Uh, now in the wake of Debbie here along that Georgia Carolina coast, we have seen those buoy temps cool off just a tad, but you can see the rest of the Atlantic is a uh, well above that 80 degree threshold for tropical cyclone development. You can see how our season really does ramp up as we head later into this uh, month and especially by the month of September. That's when we do hit hit the peak of the season and right now we are looking at our next wave just rolling off of Western Africa 60% chance that that does develop over the next seven days but it is over the middle of the Atlantic so still a ways for it to travel the thing is we're entering the monsoon season for the Sahara Desert so this is creating low pressure that will just ride off that Western coast of Africa for the next several uh, weeks so that's why we're really hitting the peak of the season due to that monsoon season in Northern Africa quick update on the drought since we did see all that rain fall from Debbie. Take a look at the difference in our drought conditions here from last week to this week here in South Carolina. So Sydney actually mentioned there on the Edisto River that one of those homeowners was saying that there were sandbars in the Edisto River. They were underneath a severe drought just last week. Well, they saw about a foot of rainfall over the last week, so no longer any drought there along Bamberg County or the Edisto River. Here's a live look outside of our studios. We had a downpour earlier that did cool us off. Right now we're at 88. We we're feeling about one 105 most of the afternoon. So that is the benefit of these summer storms here around town. That flood warning for the Edisto River does stay in effect until 730 tomorrow. They've had some storms out there today, but currently speaking are dry. Most of the rain we're looking at is right over Augusta and the rest of us fairly dry, just very isolated coverage of rainfall out there this afternoon. So if you're heading out for your Friday night, not rolling out, maybe an isolated shower, but looks to be a low chance for us. Definitely would keep your evening plans. Weekend outlook, it's going to stay hot. It's going to stay humid and each afternoon we're going to have the opportunity for some of those summer storms and we, we know the threats they bring heavy rain lightning just two things we don't need to add to the mix after a very wet week across the area take a look at our projected rain totals so whenever we show this map don't sp focus on a specific amount for a specific location this is just showing you a, a range of totals that can be expected so some of us maybe only see a few hundredths of an inch while others of us just a 20 minute drive away could see an inch or two of rainfall so this is the feast or famine of these summer storms the next couple of days. Here's a look at it for your weekend. We are going to wake up to a muggy start mid 70s, maybe even some dense fog to start off the day Saturday. Those storms will start popping up as we head past 1 p.m. and stay with us up until at least sunset. So they'll be hit or miss, but wherever you do see them, there could be that heavy rain found. So for our waterlogged areas, especially in the southern and eastern CSRA, have a way to receive those weather alerts. Flooding can happen very easily in those counties uh, since there's just nowhere for that water to soak into. Once we get to next week, our high temperatures cool off just a tad. We're actually into the upper 80s for highs by next Wednesday. Thank you, Riley. The Eureka Road Dam in Screven County will hold for now.